Before the pandemic, restaurateur Blair Papagani says her restaurant Anella was filled with regulars and had a bustling brunch. I kind of joked that we were the place that when people moved into the neighborhood, they would bring their parents to. Since she's tried takeout and outdoor dining, but like many small business owners, she struggled to cook up enough business just to pay her bills. We work three times harder and make three times less. And like many business owners, that means it's a struggle just to pay rent. A November survey by the Brooklyn Chamber of Commerce found that half of all businesses surveyed couldn't pay rent. Just about all of those already owe money for previous months. There's an evictions moratorium currently, but when that expires, if there isn't some sort of corresponding financial support provided to these businesses, we're going to have a real crisis on our hands. Brooklyn Chamber of Commerce President Randy Pierce says business owners have run out of money from the Paycheck Protection Program, which helped many owners pay their rent with a forgivable loan. Now, with another spike in COVID cases, Many fear another shutdown, so they're holding on to what little cash they might have. Uh, half of all New Yorkers work in small businesses, uh, and that's, uh, that's an important number to think about. Um, but also, this is what makes our community special, our neighborhood special. There is a small silver lining for business owners. The chamber survey showed that nearly half of all landlords have made some sort of concession for their small business owners, either reducing rent or deferring payments until the end of the lease. I think there's a recognition that they're in the same boat. They're all in the same crisis. Papagani already had to shut down one restaurant when her landlord refused to budge on her rent. But she's been thankful her landlord, Adonella, has been understanding. She says she wants to stay open for her staff, her customers, and to see the day she can pay back everything she owes. But she says she'll need some help to do it. For me, there's no option other than to believe that we're going to get through this and we're going to keep moving forward. But in order to do that, we do need government support.